Hello and welcome to the Crichton Championship. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company. Alongside me is my partner in crime, John McCarthy. It's time to get our final round action underway. Hello, Luke. Glad to be here with you, and uh, hello to the folks at home. As our next golfer on the tee gets ready to kick off their round, could you tell us what's the score to beat today? Well, those that have been out on the course already have been loving what they see. It's a birdie fest, 11 under par leads. Thanks, Luke. We'll uh, talk to you later on. This is heading towards the green. All right, he's on the green now, and this one's for birdie. And that one. All right, kind of the opposite of the uh, first hole last round. And after the first hole, starting round at one. And he five. said it was 11 under, but it's 13 under right now. I don't see how it's and a birdie fest on with next the, the wind could high wind. Let's find out. But I guess we'll see if he's right. Last hole, I. Went one club up and just on hit some uh, D loft on there. Towards the green. Ooh, almost a hole in one on here. And he's on the green. This and I kind of just seven feet to the cup. did the same thing with this one. I stayed with the club they gave me, which was the, you know, and that one will go the one that you're going to hit um, as far as the hole is. And then I put and some D loft on it to, to counter the wind, hopefully. Up in the standings. Which it did. And next up, we have a par five hole. Unfortunately, the par fives okay, in the wind pretty good. don't match. Well, I guess unless you hit it, get a great kick like that to get it to over 300. But still, it's going to be a long way. Uphill, not going to make it. But we can try and get it as far as we can in the fairway. Try and get a good flop into the, uh, or onto the green. Hopefully, get it to stop. Ooh, not right there. Wow, that is short. And this for the birdie. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be getting that. Ooh, that, All right. That would have been good. I guess there's no break in it. About a few feet from the cup. Oh, two things that didn't make sense there. For one. And the sitting at two under four wind today. absolutely it never affects the and pitches and flops it never does par four um, but it did right there it seems considering it was five yards short um two i aimed it only probably a foot left that's it um that was a fantastic job with the driver but uh because it was going to the right the i green hit it didn't pull it at all not at all from the tee. didn't hit it hard Hit it right amount. And it never broke. And but there's an eagle. Will drop it just eagle. stayed dead straight, so that was kind of uh, currently sitting at four under. crappy four right there. But the uh, eagle gets us in there, and we four back and now. We started we are on the fifth. Or we ended the last round five back, so we've gained only one, really. Go ahead and put some loft, counter that wind. Going with the six. Okay. Iron. Well, okay. Not a good approach shot there. And I would wager the wind. Well, no, it was fine, that. but the wind never took it at all. But that was a fantastic flop shot. And this putt to save par. Hey, you might as well say that there was no wind on that hole. It was. The one was going to the right the entire way. There was right no, there it was helping place. or hurting. It was just going to the right the entire and way. And my ball went dead straight. Off. I didn't pull it or anything. Uh, driver can't make it. I could make it over here. Let's this see what happens. Been pretty good so far. Ah. Uh. Well, I apologize, folks. Went a little I too far. See that going into the rough. But it's just the light stuff, so should be able to still get there. Ah, with the wind. Well, it's in the rough. It's in the rough. It's uphill. Wow, bad luck right there, pulling it just a little bit. Let's see what we can do with the chip. Ah. Go with a gap wedge chip because 
it's really deep in here. Yeah. It was really iffy going with a flop or a chip. Yeah, about four flop was going to go too far to unless you really f worked some magic on there. Still made the birdie, though. Birdie. Good putt. Okay, and after that hole, moving up and into the fourth spot in the standings. And right now, minus 15 okay, is the let's lead. See what the seventh has in store. Well, it's a par three uh, downhill, but because of the wind, I'm not sure about going down to the five iron. You know what? We'll go five iron full and just move it about right there. Won't touch Going it anyway. Five iron here. All right. Yeah, it was and hard to judge right there. Maybe a little deal off would have helped. Just didn't have enough club. No, there was there was enough club there. Just uh, hard to tell what the wind was gonna do with it. This putt's about a two footer. I'll take a par. Hard one to judge. You had water to the right, water to the left. And no change in the standings. A club where it's possibly hole. way too much. A club and where it's possibly too little. It's just really hard to judge next. in that hole, so I'll take a par. On this one, I'll take a driver. Because we can definitely get it's over all the like water. It's heading into the fairway. And you're wrong. It's on the green. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. Hitting the green here off the tee on this par four. So it's going left and possibly pretty straight. Can't tell though anything else. So if I were to guess about right here, just gotta get the speed right. Oh, I really didn't think I hit it that hard. And this to be, one's for to be honest, I thought I hit it short. So we can at least get the birdie, though, or else there's no point. Ooh, yep, no point in going very, for it then. Close. <sighs> for the par. I can't believe it was that long. And after that one, staying right there in fourth place. I hit it around 60 feet. There's Next no way I hit four, it more folks. than that. It was 12 feet too far. That's insane. Because of these trees, I can't really aim more than a certain amount. So we're going to take a tad. Yeah, there we go. And the shot's Get it to stay straight. Promising. Also pull, <laughs> pull it a little bit, but whatever. Ooh, with that slope, to be honest, we're not moving it more than this. Go up a club. And just hit it. Going slow. With the nine iron. I don't think that so, shot but shot may be a bit long, folks. Yeah. And that'll play safely on the dance floor. Uphill, a tad bit downwind. Twenty-two feet to the cup from here. This one almost dead straight. Just gotta hit it with the right speed, not pull it or push it. There we go. That length, that is a feat, feat to accomplish. All right, Luke, what are you seeing out there today as you make your rounds? Curious as to your point of view as we uh, cross the nine hole threshold in this final round of action. Oh, well, I guess he thinks nothing. Ooh. Well, this one's looking like it's in the right. fairway. All right, a little bit worried and when I hit that one fast, but out here. let's see, it's uphill, downwind, have a five iron though, five iron is definitely too much, we'll put a little de-loft on it. That looks like a uh, five iron. And the wind just not doing and much on that right one. That shot. And this is for birdie. Pretty straight. It's going to the right a little bit in the last like six feet. Oh, I pushed it. Ooh, I, I mean, really, I didn't. But this putt's about three according feet to away. the game, even though it's a little, not even a millimeter to the right. And after that one, staying pretty steady in fourth it's a push. place, and now setting up on the par three. All right. 
nine iron, I, th I don't know, it's downhill. We'll put a little deal off. And just hope that the, it's the, the right for the wind, and I guess not. The wind really, really it's affected just, uh, that one. Poor luck on that approach. Not enough club on that one. No, it was enough club, so, you know. Don't drag me down, because you're an idiot. <laughs> that why that chip shot went so far, power. I have no idea. Oh, that was yeah, very whatever. close. And it was no break. Was bogey. Okay, and let's, uh, whatever, we weren't winning this one anyway, board. considering how far they were ahead in the first Steady. round. Fourth place after that hole. Yeah, and they just keep going up. And now we find ourselves on the 12th. I think we're bunker bound oh, here. And folks. the last round I played this hole, I moved it about the middle of the bunker. Should have moved it more because of the wind. This one I did just that. And look what happens. And we have more wind on this one. Wow. Yeah, this one's close call. Just goes to show enough. how inconsistent the wind is on the game. Very unfortunate. There's a sand wedge. It's a decent shot. Okay, we have a chance for a birdie, but now, we have to birdie literally every hole. From the cup. And I guess that starts it, but got to do every hole. And after that one, and that's if they stay where they're at. The day. And he's currently tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. All right, and let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Let's see. Aim it way over here. Well, we don't need to aim it too far because, oh, I guess. It appears to be heading for the fairway here. Let's say we hit it slow. Maybe we did. We have plenty of fa fairway to work From with. 245 yards to the pin. Ooh. It's quite a ways, but the three wood should be able to get us there. And here's the three wood. Ooh. Well, that was an unfortunate Unlucky. approach. Just not enough club on Ooh. that one. Oh my God, dude. It was enough club, trust me. There we go. This one's about two feet from the cup. And he's going to move up in the standings after that hole. And setting up now on the 14th hole. Number 14, this is the one, yeah, we had to lay up the last round, but this round we should be able to get over it. And just launched this Yeah, drive. just fine. No need to worry. And uh, 110 yards or so to the pin. And with the, uh, it's 11 feet uphill, but the wind is helping slightly. A 12 mile an hour wind with the sand wedge, the wind should take it a good ways to the right. Eh, not too much, not too much. It took it about 8 feet. The approach has found so, the green, yeah. but, uh, quite far away Last time we used a wedge, it took it about, I don't know. Eight yards. This one took it about ten feet, so. Might be a bit Oh, okay. Say so it might be a bit hard, but with some pot. And after that, right amount of break, he can get him in. Right where he is on the leaderboard. And then we went up to and minus eighteen, so if there's a par five oh. coming up, we're gonna have to eagle it. It's downhill with the wind. We'll go ahead and leave it there because of what happened in the last hole, and put some D-loft on it. There we go. Run. Ah. Coming for a little a bit more run now. with that one. And this putt is but not a more birdie. bad shot. There we go. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And after that hole, staying right there in fourth place. Setting up on the 16th. Here's feet. par five. Wind right in our face. Gonna have to uh, say about right there. Very. 
and I doubt uh, he's very whatever. Happy about that it, it does seem, however, whenever you need to do something, like I needed to eagle this. Obviously, that you know it's a big feat. I have to eagle this and then birdie the next two. That line's gonna be to much tie for the lead. You know, yeah, it's a big feat. We're already eight under. To the pin. But it seems like whenever you're right there, you know, you're getting ready to do it. Game just is like, nah. How about not? Because there's no way I hit that very fast. Well, this one's still quite far away, but it is definitely no way. on the green. And right there, the I didn't hit it slow or anything, but the wind just didn't do anything to it. I don't know. This one's for par. I mean, it was 12 mile an hour straight left. And, finishing this and it just stayed dead solid. straight. I don't understand why. And uh, no change in his leaderboard status. It wouldn't have moved at all. And let's see what the 17th has in store. And again, that makes you very suspicious on is it going to affect this shot? You know? Or will it not? And looks like a six iron. Well, yeah, not the greatest. A little downhill figured it would have shot. went a little further, not but enough club on that one, I think. And this putt could save par. And that one will drop. And after that hole, currently sitting at eight under. But again, uh, that yeah, very fast is the only the very fast we've had in this round. In the last round, head. again, Four we only had the lead. one. Let's see what happens. So it kind of makes you think, and I, of course, water. Uh, All right, I guess nothing matters anymore, water. so I'll just and stop uh, yards saying anything about pin. it. I think that's the hybrid. And this shot's looking pretty good. And this next putt is for a final round score of 62. Ooh, and it just misses. And they're about three feet away here. And that one will drop for par. Well. I mean, you really can't get much better than a round of eight well under. Out there as his round comes to an end. Like I said, they uh, shot insane rounds both times. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Uh, I mean, just had fantastic rounds. This guy sucked ass. John McCarthy. See you next time. But I guess I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Later.